Hey guys, in this video we are going to go over every confirmed and rumored project that is currently in the works at all 24 Xbox Game Studios, so let's get into it. First we have 343 Industries, which most recently released Halo Infinite in 2021. They are continuing to work on Halo Infinite by providing live service updates including the upcoming release of Season 4 on June 20th of this year. This new season will bring the long-awaited return of the classic Halo mode Infection. There are also rumors that they are developing a Battle Royale mode for Halo Infinite, which should hopefully be revealed sometime in the near future due to it having been almost two years since the game's initial release. Following 343 Industries on this list is Alpha Dog Games, which is a mobile games development team which recently released its newest title, Mighty Doom, in March of 2023. It is now likely making a new, unknown mobile game, however due to the recent release of Mighty Doom, I don't expect their next project to be announced anytime soon. Next on the list is Arcane Studios, who just launched Redfall in May of 2023 and Deathloop in 2021. Their next games are unknown as of right now, but seeing as Deathloop, which was made by Arcane Leon, released almost two years ago, they're most likely in the production stage for their next game. Arcane Austin, on the other hand, just released Redfall a month ago, so they are definitely in the pre-production stage for their next title. While many people may think that they have not started their next project yet due to it being so soon after their last game was released, there is evidence which proves otherwise. The studio has posted job listings after the release of Redfall where they required people to help develop their next AAA title. I do not expect Arkane Austin's next game to be shown for a while though, and Arkane Leon's next game will very likely be shown first. Following Arkane Studios on this list, we have Bethesda Game Studios who are well known for their popular games in the Fallout and Elder Scrolls series. Their last single player game released was Fallout 4 in 2015, and they are now working on Starfield, which is a new IP and an action RPG set in space. Starfield is expected to release on September 6, 2023 for Xbox Series X, S, and on PC. They are also working on The Elder Scrolls VI, the sequel to the massively popular Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. The Elder Scrolls VI is currently in the pre-production stage and is expected to go into full production once Starfield releases. Additionally, Todd Howard has confirmed that after The Elder Scrolls VI, Fallout 5 will be put into full production but I would not expect a Fallout 5 reveal trailer anytime soon. Next up is Bethesda Softworks, which is one of the most unique studios on this list. The reason is because they don't actually make any games, instead, they are the publishers of all of the Bethesda-owned studio games. So this studio publishes games made by Bethesda Game Studios, Alpha Dog Games, ZeniMax Online, Tango Gameworks, id Software, Arcane Studios, Machine Games, and Roundhouse Studios. So I wouldn't expect any games to be revealed that were made by them. Published, on the other hand, is a different story. Following Bethesda Softworks on this list, we have Compulsion Games, whose latest release was We Happy Few in 2018. They are now working on a new title which has been rumored to be a third-person action game set in a world with a dark fantasy aesthetic that is codenamed Project Midnight. Seeing as it has been almost five years since they fully launched We Happy Few, I do expect to see this game revealed very soon. Next up on this list is Double Fine Productions, whose last game to be released was Psychonauts 2 in 2021. Double Fine is currently teased to be making at least two new unannounced games. The evidence for this is given in the Making of Psychonauts 2 documentary where studio head Tim Schafer talks about how he regrets having to pause multiple games that were in development in order to have everyone focus on launching Psychonauts 2. Two specific projects that he brings up are one being led by Derek and another being led by Lee, but he didn't elaborate any further on these projects. However, now that Psychonauts 2 has been out for almost two years, it is assumed that these two games have resumed development, along with possibly other projects as well. There haven't been many rumors about what these games could be, but hopefully whatever they are will be revealed soon. Following Double Fine Productions on the list is id Software, who most recently released Doom Eternal in 2020. They are now working on a new game which has been heavily rumored to be a return to their cult classic IP, Quake. Additionally, the rumors are that they are going to reboot the series in a similar fashion to their reboot of the Doom series in 2016. However, the only official information that we have from the team at id Software comes from their studio head and executive producer Marty Stratton at the 2022 QuakeCon where he says, quote, Here at id, the team is hard at work on our next big game, although we're not ready to share those details quite yet. So it seems that we might have to wait a little bit longer before we hear about what id Software is cooking up next. The next studio on the list is Exile Entertainment, who most recently released Wasteland 3 in 2020. They are now working on a new project that is rumored to be a mysterious first-person RPG and codenamed Cobalt. Additionally, the rumors are that the game is going to have a branching narrative and will be a steampunk adventure styled in the Victorian era with Industrial Revolution-inspired sci-fi tech. 
However, until we get an official reveal from InXile Entertainment, we can't be sure if this is true or not. But seeing as we are about to reach 3 years since the launch of Wasteland 3, I am hopeful that they are gearing up to do a teaser trailer on their next project sometime soon. Following NXL Entertainment on this list is Machine Games, who are well known for their revamp of the Wolfenstein series. Their last mainline release in the Wolfenstein series was Wolfenstein 2 The New Colossus in 2017. As for Machine Games' future projects, it has been confirmed in a teaser video by Machine Games from 2021 that they are working on an Indiana Jones game. Unfortunately, they did not give any additional information on the project other than the short teaser video to announce it. However, while major fans of their Wolfenstein games may be disappointed that it does not seem that they are making a new Wolfenstein game currently, the fans do have a reason to be hopeful. That is because Machine Games is also rumored to be actively working on Wolfenstein 3 in addition to the Indiana Jones game. A major reason for this is from recent job postings from Machine Games where in the preferences section for the position, they ask for quote, strong familiarity for Machine Games titles. Now seeing as up until this point the only games the Machine Games has made are Wolfenstein games, it would make sense for this preference to pertain to the development of a new Wolfenstein project with that project likely being Wolfenstein 3. However, until Machine Games officially announces a new Wolfenstein project, nothing is known for sure, so we will just have to wait and see if this rumor comes to fruition. Next up on this list is Mojang Studios who just released their newest title, Minecraft Legends, in April of 2023. The studio is continuing to update Minecraft with its next major addition to the game being their Trails and Tales update which will bring new mobs, biomes, and a new archaeology system to the game as well as many other new additions. This update is expected to release on all platforms on June 7th, 2023. Additionally, Mojang Studios has likely been working on their next new title for longer than people may think. This rumor is largely based off of a leak from 2021 from Windows Central where they reported that Mojang Studios had two new games in the works. Since then, one of those games has been released being Minecraft Legends, however we have not seen the other yet. No additional information was given on the projects, so that is all we currently have to go off of. Even though they have likely been working on this next project for at least the last two years, due to the recent release of Minecraft Legends, we will probably have to wait a little while longer before we hear about their next game. Following Mojang Studios on this list is Ninja Theory, whose most recently released game was Bleeding Edge in 2020. However, their game that they are likely most known for is Hellblade Senua's Sacrifice, which was released in 2017. Thankfully for fans of that title, they are currently working on Senua's Saga Hellblade 2, which is going to be their next game and will be released for Xbox Series X, S, and on PC. Unfortunately, however, there has currently been no release date given for this game. Additionally, the team at Ninja Theory has announced another title that is currently in the works, codenamed Project Mara. They have also stated that the game is an experimental horror game that will be a real world and grounded representation of mental terror. I do expect Ninja Theory to give a release date for Senua's Saga Hellblade 2 at some point in the near future. In the case of Project Mara, however, I suspect that we are going to have to wait way longer until we hear more about that game. The next studio on this list is Obsidian Entertainment, who just fully launched Grounded and released Pentiment in 2022. They are currently confirmed to be working on Avowed, which is a new AAA RPG that looks similar to Skyrim from what we have seen so far. It is also set in the world of Eora from Obsidian's Pillars of Eternity series and coming to Xbox Series X, S, and PC. They are also confirmed to be making The Outer Worlds 2, which is the sequel to the massively popular first Outer Worlds, which was released in 2019 and will be coming to Xbox Series X, S, and PC. Additionally, Obsidian Entertainment has revealed that The Outer Worlds 2 will be set in a new star system with a new crew, but that is all the information that we currently know about the game. Now, if you thought, like me, that this incredibly talented studio has enough on their plate making these two massive games at the same time, and couldn't possibly be making a third game currently as well, it seems that you would be wrong, as rumors are that they are currently working on an additional, unannounced AAA RPG. These rumors come from various job postings where one is looking for a Unity gameplay programmer to work on a AAA RPG. Now the reason that this is so strange is that The Outer Worlds 2 and Avowed are being made with Unreal Engine 5, not Unity. So it seems that they are making an additional AAA RPG using the Unity engine, but nothing else is known about this project. Currently, no release dates have been given for Avowed or The Outer Worlds 2, but I do believe that they will give more information and hopefully a release date for Avowed very soon. The Outer Worlds 2, on the other hand, I believe we are going to have to wait a lot longer for. And as for the unannounced project, I believe we are going to have to wait a while before that game is even teased. 
Following Obsidian Entertainment on this list is Playground Games, who most recently released the critically acclaimed Forza Horizon 5 in 2021. Since then, they have continually been providing updates to the game, as well as two expansions, with one being the Hot Wheels expansion, which was released in July of 2022, and the other being the Rally Adventure expansion, which was released in March of 2023. However, it seems likely that Rally Adventure was the last expansion for Forza Horizon 5, seeing as the expansion bundle which was included at launch with the Premium Edition gave access to two expansions that have now been released. Additionally, every previous Forza Horizon game has had exactly two expansions, so it seems very likely that Rally Adventure was their final expansion for Forza Horizon 5. Playground Games has already announced, however, that its next game that is currently being made is Fable, a return to the classic Xbox IP which was teased by Playground Games and will be coming to Xbox Series X, S, and on PC. Nothing else has been said about the project, but Xbox has teased on Twitter that Fable may make an appearance in their upcoming showcase. While Fable fans have likely rejoiced over this game announcement, Forza Horizon fans may be left a little disappointed that it doesn't seem that Playground Games are working on a new Forza Horizon game. Recent rumors though have given some hope that Playground Games is likely working on Forza Horizon 6 as well. These rumors were largely based off of a job listing at Playground Games which stated, quote, Playground Games is looking for a level designer to join our Forza Horizon team. As a member of the design team on a AAA title, you'll take responsibility for large sections of the game's level design, as well as mentoring and leading junior teammates. You will be a part of the level design team on our next AAA title, responsible for creating fun, playable gameplay experiences. So seeing as the position is for their Forza Horizon team, not the Fable team, and since it is stating that they will be working on their next AAA title, not the currently released Forza Horizon 5, it seems that the Forza Horizon team is working on their next game, and that game is very likely Forza Horizon 6, since it is the Forza Horizon team. However, nothing has been revealed yet, so we will have to wait and see if their next title will be Forza Horizon 6 or something entirely different. Next up on this list is Rare, who most recently released Sea of Thieves in 2018. Since then, they have been providing constant updates for Sea of Thieves, including the most recent update being Season 9, which was released in March of 2023. This update brought the addition of expanded Legend Voyages, expanded Captain Voyages, and Chests of Fortune, as well as many other things. Rare have also revealed their next game that they are making, which is Everwild. Not much is known about Everwild aside from its gorgeous art style. The game will also be coming to Xbox Series X, S, and PC. Until Rare reveals more about this game, all we can do is wait, but hopefully we won't have to wait much longer. Following Rare on this list is Roundhouse Studios, who most recently assisted in the development of Redfall which was released in May of 2023. Roundhouse Studios are also confirmed to be working on a new unannounced project which is rumored to be a PvPVE game based on a major comic license. These rumors come from a developer's LinkedIn account where back in 2019, when the studio was still named Human Head Studios, they wrote that they were working on a quote, unannounced online team-based PvPVE third-person shooter based on a major comic license. Now since then, a different Roundhouse Studios developer has written on their LinkedIn account that they have been working on an unannounced project from quote, 2019 to present so it is very likely the same project. We don't know anything else currently about this rumored project, however, or which major comic license it could be, so hopefully Roundhouse Studios will reveal their next project sometime soon. The next studio on this list is Tango Gameworks, who most recently released Ghostwire Tokyo in 2022 and Hi-Fi Rush in 2023. It also seems that Tango Gameworks is going to release DLC for Hi-Fi Rush. This is based on the Steam database website, where people found that there were new achievements added for Hi-Fi Rush, that are not in the game currently. So it seems that the next thing that Tango Gameworks will announce is Hi-Fi Rush DLC. As for what Tango Gameworks next title will be, that is currently unknown, however there are several rumors about what they could be making. The rumors are that they are currently working on at least two new games. One of them is said to be a JRPG and the other project is claimed to be a new IP. There is no additional information known about either of these projects, but that is what is currently being rumored. We won't know for sure until Tango Gameworks announces their next project, but it is very likely that they will announce the Hi-Fi Rush DLC before that. So we are likely going to be waiting a while until we hear about what game Tango Gameworks is working on next. Following Tango Gameworks on this list is The Coalition, whose most recent mainline video game release was Gears 5 in 2019. As of right now, The Coalition has not announced what their next project is, however there are some rumors. The rumors are firstly that their main project currently is Gears of War 6. This will likely be their next major game that they announce, however there is no information known about Gears of War 6 currently, other than the rumors that that is what they are currently working on. 
The second rumored project is a Gears of War collection game, similar to the Master Chief Collection which was done for the Halo series. This is rumored to be a bundle of all of the Gears of War games and an online experience. However, it is unknown whether this project is being worked on by the Coalition specifically, or if they have outsourced it to another company. We won't know for sure until these games are announced, but it has been almost four years since the Coalition's last major game release, so hopefully they plan to show us what they are working on next, sometime soon. Next up on this list is The Initiative, which is a new studio that was founded in 2018 by Xbox to make AAA games for Xbox consoles and PC. They have currently revealed their first game that they are making, which is a reboot of the massively popular IP created by Rare, Perfect Dark. It is coming to Xbox Series X, S, and PC, but not much else is known about the game as they have only shown the teaser trailer. However, they did have a developer log where they speak about the story being an eco-sci-fi story where an ecological disaster has transpired on a global scale. That is all we currently know about the game, so hopefully we will hear more from the initiative about their Perfect Dark game in the near future. Following the initiative on this list is Turn 10 Studios, who are well known for creating the Forza Motorsport series. Their most recently released game was Forza Motorsport 7 in 2017. They are currently making the 8th Forza Motorsport game, which is being titled as Forza Motorsport, since this game is considered a reboot to the series. The game has been confirmed to feature over 500 cars and over 800 unique upgrades. It is expected to release at some point in 2023 for Xbox Series X, S, and PC. Additionally, the new Forza Motorsport has been confirmed to be making an appearance at the upcoming Xbox Games Showcase, where I would expect them to give an exact release date. The next studio on this list is Undead Labs, who most recently released State of Decay 2 in 2018. They have announced that they are currently making State of Decay 3, which is their next game and is coming to Xbox Series X, S, and PC. No release date has been given and no other details about the game have been revealed aside from their teaser trailer. So I suppose that we are just going to have to wait until Undead Labs is ready to show us more about their next title in their popular zombie survival horror series. Following Undead Labs on this list is World's Edge, who most recently released Age of Empires 4 in 2021. They have confirmed that they are releasing their Age of Empires 4 port to Xbox consoles and the release date is sometime in 2023. They have also announced that they are currently making Age of Mythology Retold, which is a remaster of the classic Age of Mythology video game. Not much was said about the remaster and the release date is currently unknown, but they have stated that it will contain updated graphics, gameplay, and features. World's Edge has also been rumored to be working on at least one additional unannounced game. This rumor comes from one of the World's Edge developers' LinkedIn account, where they say that they are currently working on unannounced titles. This was written prior to the Age of Mythology retold announcement, so one of those projects was likely that. However, there is at least one other unannounced title that is currently in the works at World's Edge. Nothing is currently known about this project, and it is likely going to be a while until we hear about it. However, I would expect a release date for the Age of Empires 4 port to be given very soon. As for Age of Mythology Retold, we will likely have to wait a bit longer until we hear about it, since it is unknown how far along that project is currently. Next up on this list is Xbox Game Studios Publishing, which is another unique studio on this list because while they don't make their own games, they instead make deals with second and third party developers to create games that they will publish. Some notable games that they have published are As Dusk Falls, Ori and the Will of the Wisps, and Tell Me Why. However, they also have a lot of announced games coming soon that they will be publishing, like Stalker 2, Ark 2, Our History Untold, Contraband, and Hideo Kojima's game which is rumored to be called Overdose. Additionally, there are also many unannounced games that they are rumored to be publishing. One of them is an online fantasy RPG that is codenamed Project Dragon and is being made by IO Interactive. Another game which they are rumored to be publishing is an action RPG style game that will feature the hip-hop group Wu-Tang Clan, which is codenamed Shaolin and being made by Brass Lion Entertainment. Another rumored project is a side-scrolling brawler that is codenamed Project Belfry and is being made by Stoic Studio who are the developers of the Banner Saga. An additional rumored project is a Monster Hunter inspired game codenamed Project Suerte and is being developed by Certain Affinity. There are also many other games to be published that have not been announced or rumored yet, so we will have to wait and see what games Xbox Game Studios Publishing will reveal next. The final studio on this list is ZeniMax Online Studios, whose last released game was The Elder Scrolls Online in 2014. They are currently continuing to release constant updates and expansions for The Elder Scrolls Online, with their most recent Elder Scrolls Online expansion being the Necrom expansion, which released on June 5th, 2023. They have announced in a job listing that they are working on multiple unannounced projects. 
They have also confirmed that one of these projects is their next AAA game, and it is a new IP. Additionally, ZeniMax Online's creative director, Ben Jones, has revealed that this game has been in development for over five years now, and that there are nearly 200 developers working on this new upcoming title. There are also rumors about an unannounced project that ZeniMax Online Studios may be working on. The rumors are that they are working on a Star Wars Mandalorian MMO, but no other information was given in these rumors. Now, seeing as their next main game that they have been working on is said to be a new IP, and Star Wars is definitely not a new IP, I am going to assume that the Mandalorian MMO, if the rumor is true, is one of their other unannounced projects and not their main project that they have been talking about. I do believe that ZeniMax Online Studios will announce their next game sometime soon, seeing as they have been working on it for over 5 years now. As for the rumored Mandalorian MMO and possible other unannounced projects, we will likely have to wait a lot longer before we hear about those titles. Well, that was every Xbox Game Studio and what they are working on. If you guys are still here, thank you so much for watching through this video. I hope you guys found the video informative and hopefully it got you excited for the potential games that could be showing up in the Xbox Games Showcase. A lot of time and effort was put into the research and the creation of this video, so if you guys enjoyed it, then I would really appreciate it if you all could like the video and hit the subscribe button. Thank you guys again for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one.